Hello and welcome. Uh, this short video will show you how to write an APA using a template. APA format templates are great. You can find them in Microsoft Word uh, by searching Microsoft Word templates. So what you'll need to do to do that is you open up a Word document. This is Microsoft Word 2010. What you can do next is click on File and then New. Once you click on New, that is going to allow you to search all the different Microsoft Office templates. There's a lot of great templates in here if you've never um, searched through them. So take a look at that. Uh, but what we're going to do is type APA in this uh, search feature. And we'll come up with a couple of different APA. This is an MLA style paper. This is work cited for MLA. But let's go ahead and double click on APA paper format. Once this comes up, you'll see an actual example of a paper. Uh, and if you scroll through, uh, you can read each of the different parts of the paper and exactly how they should look. So let's say I'm uh, creating a paper on baseball in the Northwest. So what you would do is you would type baseball in the Northwest. Okay. And author would be your name. Okay. And author affiliation would be the school or organization that you're writing the paper for. So uh, let's say here, Rogue uh, Community College or something like that. Now, um, 50 characters go up here in the running head. You leave the word running head in there, and then you capitalize the title of your paper, the short title. If it's 50 characters or less, go ahead and put it all in there. So baseball in the northwest. That's fine. That's under 50 characters. Uh, and what we can do is we can put the first two to three words of the title in the uh, header up here. So you just double click to get into there. We can just press on delete to get rid of those. And I'm just going to do the word baseball uh, in Northwest. Okay, now let's close the header. There we go. This is what our title page should look like. Now we move on down to the abstract page. The abstract page, it goes right after the title page. So what I would do if I were you, would I would uh, I would actually use this template and uh, just take out the words that you don't need and put in the words that you do. So for example, we're, put, uh, we're creating an abstract. We leave the word abstract. And the great thing about this is that you'll see uh, all the instructions in here and it's actually in APA style. So this is what an APA paper will look like. So your abstract should be one paragraph, should not exceed 120 words. It's a summary of the most important elements of your paper. And you can kind of read through the rest of this. Uh, if you want to read or if you want to see how many uh, words you have, you can click on the tools menu and click on word count. So there's some good tips right there. We don't indent this at all. So uh, let's say I'm doing a, just a summary of my paper. So uh, the game of baseball in the Northwest is very competitive. In fact, and then I can go on and on and on, a summary. Now you see this was set up to be uh, centered. I need to make that left aligned. There you go. My abstract page should be complete at that point. So uh, abstract page. After the abstract page, we'll have our first uh, part here. It's the title of our paper. This, again, should be in the middle of the page for our formatting. So it's going to say the title of the paper. So this is baseball in the Northwest. And this is just a nice introduction here. So you can read through here, begin your paper with an introduction, active voice. You don't want it to be passive. You don't want it to sound weak, right? As if you know what you're talking about. And uh, so that is the introduction part of your paper. Uh, you'll see that there is actually indentations in this for our formatting. We use Times New Roman. 12 point, double spaced. Nice thing is everything is already set up in here for you. Okay, uh, now these are our headings as we get into the meat of our paper, our headings. So let's say, for example, I wanted to talk about professional baseball in the Northwest, collegiate baseball, the Pac-12, so on and so forth. We would use headings for that. So let's say I'm going to start off with professional baseball. Imagine these are chapters in a book. You can use headings. These are Headings, and then we have subheadings if we'd like to use that, but you can just stick to these headings if you'd like when you're writing your paper. So professional baseball, uh, let's say that instead of doing a subheading, we wanted to do 
another heading uh, discussing collegiate baseball. Let's uh, go into the center. So collegiate baseball. Uh, let's say we also wanted to do um, high school baseball. Let's just do just something like that. This is an example. Now we'll put that into the center again. Now when you're setting up your paper, sometimes it's nice because this can kind of act like the chapters in your book. And then you would just go ahead and write something here. So this would be about collegiate. This would be about high school. If we wanted to do 5A, high school, 4A, whatever, that's where we might use these subheadings. But again, focus on these headings as your major parts of the paper with your content in them. And then you've got your subheadings if you want to break it down even a little bit further, kind of like an outline. Citations. Uh, this whole section goes over citations. I'm not going to spend too much time on citations. Uh, you can read through this on your own about citations within your uh, paper. There's quite a bit of information. And then the last page of your uh, paper is your reference page, unless you have an appendix or something like that. And your references, you'll see they're in alphabetical order. Uh, you can use different websites to learn how to do your references. But this is the actual structure of what a paper should look like, uh, an APA paper. And you can uh, scroll through that and use the template. OK, that is a tutorial on how to use an APA template, a very efficient method to writing an APA paper. Thank you for